everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first of a little series that I'm starting here on this channel, and that is going to be top five. So in each of these videos, I'm gonna choose a theme or a topic to talk about and choose five of my top favorites to place, hopefully in order. Without further ado, let's get into my top five favorite Marvel villains. Now this list was pretty difficult for me to make. There's a lot of movies, there's a lot of villains or antagonists, and a lot of people who could be on a villains list, but some people, including myself, wouldn't categorize them as villains. And so that's why I kind of made it a little bit difficult for me. But I'll talk about those people who I think would be on the list if they were villains but these are my finalized top five favorites. Starting in at number one, I chose Hela. I love Hela. I think she is a badass, and I think that she is super mysterious, and she causes a lot of issues for a lot of people, and she's nearly unbeatable. It took a lot to beat her, and she still did it and messed up a lot of stuff like a good villain does and you kind of can't come back from what she did so that's why i chose her i think she's super hot honestly and i think she's just a sick villain she kind of came out of nowhere nobody seems to remember her and she's a goddess so how could she not be on my top five favorite list i also just bought a lounge fly that is hella themed so expect that coming soon. All right, number two on my list is one of those ones where I wasn't sure if I should categorize this person as a villain or not, but I decided I wanted to because when they made their presence in their movie, I was shocked and confused the whole entire time. Number two for me is gonna be the Winter Soldier. So when I watched Captain America and the Winter Soldier, and the Winter Soldier was introduced and he came out and he was coming after them on the bridge and causing all kinds of ruckus. I was like, who is this? Where did you come from? What is going on? Who the F is this person and why are they doing this? And then when we find out who it is, like what, how are you? I love the Winter Soldier. I love the person who Winter Soldier is, if you know what I'm saying. I don't really want to give it away in case no one has watched that movie, which you should have if you're watching this video. I know you could kind of argue that the other person isn't a villain, but while they were the Winter Soldier, they were a villain. They hurt a lot of people and yeah, Winter Soldier, definitely number two. And I mean, you know what I mean? Come on. Number three on my list is going to be Thanos. Two whole movies, he was the antagonist and he was the problem. And he did it really well. He messed up a lot of stuff for a lot of people, kind of like the whole world. What he did, you can't change. Everyone is going through some sort of trauma from what he did. And that's a good villain. If we're talking about villains, he did his job well. Number four is gonna be Killmonger. This guy, I really feel for him, man. Like, think about his background. Think about what he saw as a kid, what he learned. He was completely alone. His whole entire family and culture abandoned him and no one talked about it. No one knew who he was. He just kind of came out of nowhere. But for him, that was his whole life. He learned about his past and his dad and where he came from and he's like, damn, nobody cares about me. I'm gonna go be the king and rule this place and no one can stop me because I'm a badass and killed a lot of people. He beat the king of Wakanda in a fight to become the Black Panther and to become king. So that's a good villain. That's why he's my number four. Number five, definitely not my least favorite, but my last on my top five favorite list is gonna be Wenwu. I love Shang-Chi, the movie was so beautiful. 
I loved the mystical element. Shang-Chi's mom, her background and the fighting and oh, it was just so beautiful. And Wenwu was a killer man he was intense he wasn't the best dad he kind of trained his kids to become fighters he beat up and killed a lot of people in front of his very young children he let his son run away and he knew where he was but he didn't bring him back until much much later when he needed him and that's kind of messed up not a very good dad very good villain antagonist whatever you want to call it he had the rings, he was unbeatable, he had a motive behind what he was doing, and that was love. Not that that makes it better at all, but he had passion for it, and he wanted to mess some stuff up, and he did. That was my finalized top five list, but I wanted to go back to what I said at the beginning of this video and talk about the one person I would have had at my number one spot, probably my favorite character in all of the MCU, and that is Loki. I don't know if you personally consider him as a villain or an antagonist, but I don't. Especially after watching his series on Disney Plus, Loki, he's not a villain. I'm sorry, he's not. Your argument is invalid. I'm just kidding. But I don't see him as a villain. I think that he is just misunderstood. He took his god of mischief kind of a little bit overboard everybody messes up right like even the avengers killed a lot of people and loki even though he kind of knew what he was doing i don't know i don't really categorize him as a villain let me know in the comments below if you do but if we are categorizing him as a villain he's number one everyone else gets moved down a space if loki is in on this deal hope you guys like this video let me know in the comments below what you think about loki being a villain or an antagonist I'd really love to know. Let me know what other kind of top five videos you'd like to see from me. I have a lot of ideas, some Disney, some Marvel, maybe some Harry Potter. I could include some Twilight stuff and Hunger Games and any other fandom that I know of and that I'm into that you would love to see. Please let me know down below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. I'll see you guys real soon.